Welcome back to this video from CAD Crazy. So in this video, what we're going to be doing is showing you how to put a reference dimension inside of CAD work so it comes out on Isogen. So let's say we want to put a reference dimension from this elbow to this column right here. So double click on the elbow and go down to your Isogen button right here. Click on that. And then all the way down on this dialog is a reference dimension uh, section. So normally it's turned off. So we're going to hit turn on and we're going to give it uh, pick on the pick points. So we're going to pick right here on this column and we're going to go up. Then we're going to give it a message. So we're going to say on this one, let's say B2 and then give it an S key. This is very important and I'll show you reason why later. So uh, since we're doing a column, we're doing VST, but there's other choices you can choose from. You can do HST, which is horizontal steel, a building, a wall. Uh, but since we're going from a column, we're gonna do visual, uh, visual steel, uh, VST for vertical steel. So we're going to hit OK, and then we're going to close out the component edit, hit OK. And then when we run an isogen out or an isogen batch, we should get a reference dimension inside of isogen like this. This gives you the X and the Y and the Z from that elbow. Now you can also see where it says column B2, OK? The column B2 comes out because we've selected the VST. So our isogen has been set up where every time we pick up VST on a reference dimension, column comes out. If we chose the HST for horizontal steel, then it would come out as B, I mean as beam. Uh, and then of course the B2 was the message that we wrote in there. But if you don't want to put in the Z axis in here, the Z dimension, uh, you have to do something a little bit different. So now we're back into our CAD works. So in order to get rid of that Z uh, dimension uh, to that column, you actually have to put in a control point where it is on the same elevation as that 90 degree elbow. So in this instance, I'm going to be drawing a line from our elbow. So we're going to snap to our elbow, come out, and we're going to use point filters in order to get to the X and the Y of that column. So we're going to do dot Y, and we're going to click right here, and we're doing an at symbol. And if you want to do a point filter a different way besides just hitting dot Y or dot X, you can also just hit shift right click on your mouse, go to point filters, and we're going to, this time we're going to do dot X. And we're going to pick that point right there, do an at sign. So now we have our point that is in the same elevation as uh, our elbow. So now we're going to click, click on it, and we're going to go to Isogen, go down to our reference dimensions, we're going to pick our points, and we're going to pick that point right there and go up. And hit OK. And now when we run our ISO, we'll get an ISO that's like this. We have our X and our Y, and then we have uh, no Z, and because there was no Z to put in there, uh, Isogen decided to put the column and the B2 in line with uh, that uh, S key symbol. So I hope this has been helpful for you. Uh, please subscribe to our channel and check us out on uh, our blog site, uh, cadcrazy.com. 
And if you would like to see any other videos, please hit me up and I'll get them into the rotation. So until next time, have fun.